Mr. Speaker, in the past 24 hours alone, terrorists in the Gaza Strip have launched more than 250 rockets into southern Israel. That's 250 rockets in one day since Hamas began its strikes. Imagine 250 rockets raining down in one day on your community, anywhere in the United States. We would expect our government to act to protect our citizens. Israel is acting to protect her citizens. Israel has the right to protect her citizens from terrorist attacks. In the early hours of this morning, three Israeli civilians died when a rocket from Gaza struck a top floor of an apartment building. Later in the day, a rocket hit just 10 miles from Tel Aviv. The United States mourns the loss of life at the hands of Hamas terrorists. We will not waver in our support of Israel's right to defend herself against these and other attacks. The right of any nation to defend its citizens can never be called into question. Mr. Speaker, at this challenging time for our great ally, the United States stands with Israel. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. For what purpose does this gentleman from Illinois seek recognition? I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one